Hey, Hello. Roxy. How are you? Hamilton Kings. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. So tell me all about it. Okay, so basically I've come from a hospitality background for the last 10 years. I've had restaurants around Sydney and, and catering businesses and I've always had this issue of um, marketing to the wrong people. Yeah. So what I came up with is this concept where we actually validate the consumer. So we ask the consumer what type of service do they want. Do they want a restaurant? Do they want a doctor? Do they want a PT? Do they want a massage? Where do they want it? Do they want it in a particular area? Yeah. Or do they want it to come to their home? And then secondly, when do they want it, the service? Yeah. And then what we do is we send that through to our service providers who match the service, who match the area. So is it like an online concierge? Basically it is, but it's a free concierge service to the consumer. So what we're doing is we're almost like an advertising portal, but doing it the opposite way to what Google does. So Google would say, you know, a SME would advertise to on Google yeah. for a consumer. But what we're doing is we're finding out what the consumer wants first, and then taking it to the SME and saying, do you want this service? Matching here? it. And matching it. Do you, have a, do you have any ideas on, I don't know, a really cool way to um, market it to begin with? You know, I would not put money towards PR and traditional PR. Yep. I put it towards digital spend because you need to push people to your website. Yep. Okay. And handing out flyers is not going to do that. Yep. I mean, people don't pick them up. No. Yep. Um, and you know what? Do you need to have someone jumping out of whatever it is to get this huge spectacle? Is it going to get you customers? No, it's not. No. But I know that if I was looking on Broadsheet and I lived in Canberra and something popped out of a box yep. and it said, time for, I've got the answer, yep. I'd definitely okay. click through. Okay. Yeah. Broadsheet's okay. a good one. Okay. Concrete Playground's a good one. Yep. Those kind of websites. There's no point for you to do news.com today, you just can't afford it yet. No, no. But those smaller, cooler channels are definitely where I'd go. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. You. Thank you very much, Roxy. Nice to meet you. Cheers. And Thank you. good luck with it next week. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. Well, you know, you need to be there to work. I'll send you, I'll send you the dates. Yeah, so. please. Send me an email with the information so I can log on when it, when it yeah, goes perfect. live. Lovely. Nice to meet you. Thanks Thank so much, you. Roxy. See you later. What a nice guy. Look, I think the idea, at first I wasn't quite sure where he was going with it, but I think, you know what, in hindsight, it's actually really good. Everyone's time for and they want a quick fix, so I actually like it. I thought he was quite nervous initially. There was a bit of a handshake when he got in the car, but he really warmed up and he was, he was a very personable guy. I mean, if I was a provider, I'd definitely say, okay, I'll give it a try. Investment-wise, I would be in two minds about it. I mean, he's starting in the Canberra market, he doesn't want to do the app yet and I think for me if I'm going to launch a business or invest in a business, I want everything to be ready to go in one hit, not to trickle. Um, so for me at the moment it wouldn't be something I'd invest in but I'd definitely be a user. One of the biggest challenges with his idea I think is the fact that he's not flipping the ticket twice and when I say that what I mean is he's only taking a dollar from each person he puts forward. He's not taking a percentage of any sale that's made. Now to me, you're in business to make money and provide a good service, clip the ticket both ways. I think he went really well. I mean, he was nervous, we've never met, he was in a car, you know, we're driving around Sydney with Uber. He did well. 